So every time I've run this up, it's had a minor head gasket leak. It's this lower head gasket. Um, it's the one you can't buy a head gasket for. So we're gonna take the engine out and investigate. It's pretty easy though. All we have to do is remove these two engine mount bolts, front sprocket, unplug the bullets, take the carbs off, and it'll drop straight out. So here it is. Um, this is the leaky culprit. Somewhere here. It's leaking out of here. It's leaking out of here. Maybe here. Here. So I'm going to get some soapy water and pump some air in through the breathers and then find out where the leaks are coming from. So here's where I left off yesterday. Um, this was leaking around here. It's pretty ugly because it was a little bit dirty, but I've um, done my best to weld it up. And then I've welded up this little O-ring recess, and I'm going to machine it back now. So I've got more surface area to seal, as this is where the head was leaking. So we'll set that up in the lathe. We'll grab it here and take the lightest skim possible. I also welded up this little hole here as it was leaking and no amount of thread sealant would save this one although this fitting and this fitting weren't leaking so let's not worry about those So here's the new material for the base gasket. It's pretty thick, it's laminated. It's two layers. Um, I don't know if it's gonna be suitable, but we'll find out. And in hindsight, I probably should have masked up the combustion chamber and timing chain tunnel, but uh, it wipes off pretty easily. And from there, it was all ready to race. Now, because I don't own a GoPro, I didn't get you guys any sick footage. This is the only photo I could find. So last weekend, I raced the bike for the first time and it was a resounding success. It finished every single race I entered. I think I did three or four races. I took it easy for the first one and then thrashed it for the next two. Today's goal is to Strip the engine down to see if there's any wear or damage from the weekend. Draining the oil, everything went perfectly fine. The oil looked good. Although I had a race the next weekend and I wasn't happy with the head gasket solution as you'll see later. So the plan, to take the engine out of my Honda C50 being 110ccs and place it into the little race bike. Being at a 40cc disadvantage, although... I don't think this will matter as I'm still testing out the chassis and learning how to ride the bike. But something on my list of things to do is buy a GoPro so I can get you guys some sweet footage next time I take the V twin out. So the plan today is to test if these two 3D printed um, gaskets fit on for the head gasket and or head gasket and base gasket and then I'm going to get these laser cut that out of copper and that out of aluminium and I'm going to do away with this extremely thick squishy gasket and actually have a gasket in here
So I think what's happening here is that squishy base gasket, when it gets hot, the head gaskets are just losing their tension and thereby letting the combustion gases leak out. Let's see if it fits on. And shortly after this, I found out the people I use for my laser cutting can't cut copper. So the plan changed. I'm going to stick with the spacer plate for a base gasket so I can run a thin paper gasket on either side. Although for the head gasket, I've sourced a Viton O-ring. So the plan is to use a Viton O-ring and some sealant. When my Viton O-ring shows up, we are going to machine an O-ring groove into the head. We'll also look at the calcs required to make the O-ring groove the correct size. And fingers crossed. 